everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're not just learning idioms, but we're also uncovering the fascinating stories behind them. These expressions are common in English, but their origins might surprise you. Stick around because this lesson will be as interesting as it is informative. Let's jump right in. 1. Break the ice. Meaning. To initiate conversation in a social setting. Situation. Used when someone makes the first move to ease tension or awkwardness in a group. Examples. To break the ice at the meeting, she started with a funny story. We played a game to break the ice at the party. Interesting point. The phrase comes from the practice of ice-breaking ships clearing the way for other vessels to pass, symbolizing the first step to overcoming obstacles. Two, let the chips fall where they may. Meaning, to accept the outcome of a situation, whatever it may be. Situation, used when someone decides to go ahead with something despite the uncertain consequences. Examples. I'll tell the truth and let the chips fall where they may. He made his decision and let the chips fall where they may. Interesting point. This idiom comes from woodworking, where chips of wood would fall as they may when being carved, indicating the unpredictability of life's outcomes. 3. A penny for your thoughts. Meaning, a way of asking someone what they are thinking. Situation. Used when someone looks deep in thought and you want to know what's on their mind. Examples. You've been quiet all evening. A penny for your thoughts? He looks so serious. I offered him a penny for his thoughts. Interesting point. The phrase dates back to the 16th century when a penny had much more value, and it was a polite way to inquire about someone's thoughts. Four. All bark and no bite. Meaning, someone who talks tough but doesn't follow through with action. Situation used when someone makes threats or boasts, but never actually acts on them. Examples. He always threatens to quit, but he's all bark and no bite. Don't worry about her. She's all bark and no bite. Interesting point. This phrase comes from the behavior of dogs that bark loudly, but don't actually attack, symbolizing empty threats. Five, back to the grind, meaning, returning to work or routine after a break. Situation, used when someone has to resume their daily tasks after some time off. Examples, after a long weekend, it's back to the grind tomorrow. Vacation's over, so it's back to the grind. Interesting point, the word grind refers to the repetitive hard work of grinding grains into flour making this idiom a perfect metaphor for monotonous daily tasks. Six, beat a dead horse. Meaning, to continue talking about something that has already been decided or resolved. Situation, used when someone keeps discussing a topic that's already been settled. Examples, we've agreed on the plan, so stop beating a dead horse. There's no need to beat a dead horse, the issue is over. Interesting point. This idiom originates from horse racing, where beating a dead horse is pointless, just like revisiting a settled matter. Seven, beggars can't be choosers. Meaning, people who are in desperate situations must accept what they are given without complaint. Situation, used when someone who is in need should not be picky about what they receive. Examples. You can't complain about the free meal. Beggars can't be choosers. If you want a job, you can't be too selective. Beggars can't be choosers. Interesting point. The phrase has been in use since the mid-1500s, emphasizing that those who are reliant on charity cannot demand more than what they're given. Eight, blood is thicker than water, meaning, Family relationships are stronger and more important than friendships or other relationships. Situation. Used to emphasize the strength of family bonds. Examples. We may argue, but blood is thicker than water, so we'll always stick together. 
He chose to help his brother instead of his friend because blood is thicker than water. Interesting point. This idiom is often misunderstood. The original saying, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, actually meant that chosen bonds can be stronger than family ties. Nine, break the bank, meaning to cost too much money or to exhaust one's financial resources. Situation, used when something is very expensive or someone spends more than they can afford. Examples, we had a great time on vacation, but it didn't break the bank. Buying a new car could break the bank if you're not careful. Interesting point. The term originated from casino gambling, where a bank refers to the house's money, and breaking the bank means winning more than the house can afford to pay. 10. Burn bridges. Meaning, to destroy relationships or connections, making it impossible to return to a previous position. Situation used when someone makes decisions that permanently damage relationships or opportunities. Examples. He burned his bridges when he insulted the entire team. Be careful not to burn bridges with your old job. You might need them again someday. Interesting point. The idiom comes from military strategy, where soldiers would burn bridges after crossing them to prevent the enemy from following or to ensure no retreat. And there you have it. Not only have you learned some of the most useful idioms in English, but you also now know where they came from. Next time you use one of these phrases, you can impress your friends with your knowledge. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more fun and informative English lessons. See you in the next video.